Hello students, as promised, uh, here is my another video wherein we are going to calculate the cross rate with bid and ask rate. If you remember, in my previous video, there was no concept of bid and ask rate and there was just one quote which was given. And I believe that by now you are conversant that how to solve the cross rate with two and three currency quotes. So in this um, video, we will look into that if the bid and ask rate in any currency quote is given, then how are we going to apply the cross rate? So in order to solve this example, let me take you through the first question. It is euro by dollar. And here you can see 1.2191 to 1.2193, which means it is the rate given for $1 in terms of the euros. The second quote which is given is yen by dollars. So it is yen by dollars is 109.74 to 109.75. And if you remember, uh, in many of my previous video, I told that ask rate is always higher than the bid risk because that's what the spread of the dealer. And we are supposed to calculate yen by euros. This is what the cross rate that we are looking for. Now, how to solve this uh, cross rate? So uh, the logic is same. Um, if you remember the concepts we have discussed in class and here in this video, the most important thing is to uh, you know, take you back through the tricks that is really, really helpful for you to manage your time um, during examination. So here, what we are looking for is yen. Is yen is numerator anywhere in the given quote? And to your surprise, yes, uh, the yen is in the numerator in this quote. So we will write it for bid as it is, which means that 109.74 as it is, uh, we have written for yen. And we are still not done for the bid uh, part. So please pay attention. So we have first look on to the yen. Now uh, we are looking for that is euro is somewhere as a denominator. Now, unfortunately, euro is not in a denominator. Euro is present here, but this is as a numerator, right? So you know that it is not exactly what you are looking for. So therefore, division rule will apply. Euro, you want to be in denominator. Euro is in the question as numerator. Therefore, you will follow the reverse rule, which is division. And therefore, you will multiply this with one by now the most important thing that which rate are we supposed to look is it a bit or an ask rate so the uh, the concept lies here that when you are calculating it for bid and you are not finding out the quote in what form you are looking for for you have to look for ask price so although we are calculating it a bid but because the euro is not in denominator here, you are going to reverse it, which means you are going to follow the division. But if you are doing it for bid, you have to take this. You have to take ask, which means I'm going to take 1.2193. And that's what it completes your bid area. Now, uh, concept wise, you have to please go and recall the videos uh, that we have discussed in uh, class that what is the concept? And if you remember when we were doing uh, the concept of cross rates and IRP there, we have discussed that why do it happen that though we are calculating bid, but we are taking up the price for the ask. This video is completely based on just a simple trick that to be used in class. Now your bid part is over. Now we are going to exactly do the same thing for the ask part. So we will look into it that uh, is yen is somewhere as numerator. And yes, yen is somewhere as numerator. So you are going to use, because you are calculating it for ask, so you are going to use the ask price. And then, then with the multiplication, you will look into that is euro is somewhere as denominator. You know that euro is not as denominator, rather as numerator. So what is the logic that you have to find, uh, you have to put in here in this uh, formula? So you're going to consider because you are calculating it for ask, therefore you are going to reverse this and consider the bid. Eventually, what I'm asking you to do is 109.74 divided by, divided by 1.2193 
and ask is 109.75 divided by 1.2191 and if you simplify this you are going to get an answer as 90.00 to 90.02 and that's what your currency quote in terms of bid and ask rate so this is the calculation of cross rate with bid and ask rate let's quickly do one more question which is helpful for you to understand further the logic behind it okay so we are going to take new zealand dollar with respect to us dollars which is 1.63 to 1.64 then we are going to take say australian dollars with respect to us dollars which is 1.50 as bid to 1.51 as ask. And we are supposed to calculate Australian dollar for New Zealand dollar. This is what we are supposed to calculate. Let's follow the trick. So Australian dollar is Australian dollar. It's somewhere as a numerator. Yes, it is. You will write it as 1.50. Is New Zealand dollar is somewhere as denominator? No, in the currency quote, it is not in denominator. It is a numerator. So if it is a numerator, we are going to divide. But when you are doing it with bid and ask rate, if you are, I am calculating it for bid, so I am going to consider here the ask, which is 1.64. Then I will do it for ask rate. Is Australian dollar is somewhere as numerator? Yes, it is. So we will take our ask rate, which is 1.51. And again, is New Zealand dollar is somewhere is in denominator? No, it is not. It is in numerator. So we know that we have to find the division rule. But if we are calculating it for ask, we have to take the value for bid. So and this is what we are doing. 1.50 divided by 1.60. That's your bid and 1.51 divided by 1.63 that's your ask i will simplify this and will give you an answer so here it is 1.50 divided by 1.64 the answer is 0.914 and if i do this 1.51 divided by 1.63 the answer will come as 0.92 Six. And that's how you calculate the cross rate if bid and ask rate is given. All the very best for your exams.